Number 40. Predict which acid in each of the following pairs is the stronger one and explain your reasoning for each. And then we have letter B. So in this case, we have boron with three OHs versus aluminum with three OHs. Which compound is going to be more acidic? So we have to pick out a trend here, right? Now, I can't talk about binary acids because there's three elements here. Remember, binary acids, you're only allowed to have a hydrogen and then a random element. But once you have hydrogen, oxygen, and then another element, you can't use binary acid. But oxoacid trends are a thing. And both of these are classified as oxoacids. Oxoacids are very specific. They have hydrogen. Generally, what you'll see it as is that you'll have hydrogen in the front, you'll have oxygen in the back, and then you'll have random elements in the middle. And it has to be a single element, right? Now for these, they disguised it as kind of looking at like a base. But if I just kind of rearrange this and divvy up these three H's and these three O's, this would be H3BO3. And then this one, vice versa, would be H3ALO3. And there's kind of your oxoacid little, you know, symbolism here. So when you're talking about the now the trend of the oxoacid, all we have to look at is the middle element. So in this case, we're looking at boron versus aluminum. And where is boron and aluminum on the periodic table? Well, boron is right up top here, and then aluminum is right below it. Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just kind of make this a little bit better. So B and then AL. The rule of thumb with oxoacids is as you go down a group, your acidity will decrease. So if you're going down, aluminum is less of an acid than boron. So basically, boron will win, which means that this acid, H3BO3, or if you just want to write it as, you know, BO3OH3, That is the stronger acid. Now we just have to give an explanation. When you're going down a group with oxoacids, the best explanation is because of the electronegativity. As you're going down a group, electronegativity decreases, which means that boron on top would have a higher electronegativity than aluminum. And what electronegativity means is that these elements are more easily or more readily to become negative charges by giving up one of the hydrogens. So if it's easier for you to get rid of a hydrogen and become negative, you'll do it quicker. And that's what acids are all about. It's getting rid of that hydrogen. Acids donate hydrogens. So the explanation is because boron is more electronegative than aluminum. And then because of that, it's easier to donate a hydrogen. If you're more electronegative, you're more easier. It's more, you know, easy for you to donate a hydrogen because you'll become a negative charge. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, hang tight because letter C is coming up. If you guys are on the playlist, I highly recommend you being on the playlist because it's just easier for you to run through the questions. A lot of people that use this channel, they love it that they could just like run through the questions. So I'm down for it. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye-bye.